Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 24th of August, and it's a sunny and cold day. Well, first of all, we are going to check pages 4, 11, 13, and 14 from the cuadernillo, okay? No te olvides de hacer el cuadernillo. No dejes de hacer el cuadernillo, las, las páginas que uno pide, que la teacher Ruth pide. ¿Por qué? Porque en esas páginas vas a revisar cada gramática que estuvimos dando durante el año y te va a ayudar a avanzar. ¿Es it clear? Right. Well, and then we are going to start unit 10. ¿Es it clear? New units, new grammar. Yes, ok. So we have page 4, page 4. All right, page four. Good. Sally lives in London. B. She doesn't act in films. C. She can sing and dance very well. A. Tom studies in Glasgow. B. Tom writes songs with his friend. Friend A. Yes, ok, let's go to page 11, page 11, ok, complete the sentences, ok, remember, at, yes, at the weekend, at 7 o'clock, yes, ok, so pay attention because you have, yes, ok, this is that, um, uh, at the weekend, yes, at mass time, on plus days, Yes, in plus month, okay? At, at home, at the weekend, at seven o'clock. Yes, okay. I often play football at the weekend. The shop closes in the evening, in the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning. My job starts on Monday. I often have pizza in Perdón. Uh, um, at lunchtime, her party is on Saturday. The class start, uh, starts at 9 o'clock. Yes, okay. Uh, it's very cold in December. Is it clear? Right. Uh, write the times. Good. It's 45 to, yes, it's 45 to 6. It's half past 7. It's quarter past 8. It's half past 12. You can say it's 3.40, that is the American version, and The one we, are, we know, it's 20 to 4. It's 20 to 4. It means, faltan 20 minutos para las 4, no para las 3, ¿eh? Ok, page 13, page 13. All right, do you like? Oranges, Tom has got a new leather coat. Kate teaches at school in Leeds. Yes. At a school, yes. Have you ever been to Italy? Chinese, the Chinese have a difficult language. ¿Por qué pongo el de? Porque estoy hablando, perdón, no va de ahí, ahí va nada, zero article. Porque estoy hablando en general. Yes, ok. Good. Uh, love is a wonderful thing. El amor, y es love, friendship, son sustantivos abstractos, entonces no van a llevar el de adelante. Yes, it's clear. You say love, friendship, friendship. Yes, I am tired. It's time to go to bed. Could you pass the sugar, please? Harry comes from the USA, about the, the USA, the United Kingdom. We went to Scotland by car. Yes, okay, good. 
14, 14, the last page. Okay, we walk to the city center on foot. Acordate que vos tenés la palabra foot y tenés que decir lo mismo que tengo arriba, pero incluyendo esa palabra. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Well, uh, David wears plastic glasses. Y tenemos la palabra made of. Entonces, ¿cómo puedo usar esa estructura? David's glasses, sí, ahí tengo un posesivo, los anteojos de David, are made of plastic. ¿Is it clear? George came here on the bus. Make silence, please. Yes. Ok. George came here on the bus. Y tenemos la palabra by. George came here by bus. Yes, ok. Uh, pay attention, darling. Darling, highlight the line. Highlight the line. The page you have to work in, highlight. Naomi is a French speaker. Speaks. Tenemos speaks. Entonces tenemos que hacer otra frase donde use speaks. Naomi speaks French. Martin is a prisoner. Martin is in prison. Drink. I am not a tea drinker. Entonces, ¿qué voy a poner ahí? No bebo té. I don't drink tea. Y estoy diciendo lo mismo que digo arriba, pero con la palabra que me da negrita. Carlos is Spanish. Spain. Carlos lives in Spain. Yes. Is from Spain. Perdón. Carlos is from Spain. Yes. Ok. Uh, Anne flew to New York. And went to New York by plane. Mary comes from France. Mary is French. O uh, is from France. Ok. The two possibilities are ok. Yes. Good. So this is done. Yes, this is done. Cuadernillo done. Yes, okay. Good. So let's go now to unit 10. Bye bye unit 9. Hello unit 10. Okay. Good. So pay attention now. Yes, okay, you need 10. Good, good, good. So, I tell you now, I want you to put the date. Yes, okay, we continue with unit 10. Put the date on pages 117, 118. 119, yes, 120, 121, yes, 120, 121, these are pages from the class book, 117, 18, 19, 20 and 21, okay, is it clear? Right. Put the date in all the pages, the date in all the pages, okay? So, I want you to look at the painting, the picture, sorry. Yo tengo todo post-it, ojo, eh? Uh, I want you to look at the picture there. What can you see? I want you to say, yes, at home, what can you see in the picture, yes? What do you think this building is for? Yes, okay. What happens here? Yes, I am preparing the listening. Yes, okay. Wait a minute. Think about the, the, the image there, about the picture. Yes, what can you see there? Yes, okay. What is this building for? Okay. Right. 
Good. So the wall of the long corridor are lined with books, yes? So for those who say uh, it might be uh, a library, yes, okay, can be a library, but where? At a school, at a, at a famous university, yes? Famous university, okay, can be, okay. Or can be a bookstore, you say? A uh, bookshop. Can be, yes, okay. Um, this is a bookshop, yes, okay. People go there to look for books and buy them. So, if you go there, yes, oh my God, it's amazing. The structure is amazing. It's, uh, it seems to be from the future, yes, okay. So, the thing is, yes, uh, it is a famous bookshop, so you can go there, yes, and see the books you want, yes, and buy them, okay? So we're going to listen to parts of the travel podcast, podcast, and you have to answer the questions one and two. Then we are going to uh, revise some subjects, okay? And you are going to say which subject you like and which subject you don't like uh, from school, yes, okay, and which are the most interesting subjects, all right, is it clear, so let's go, there we are, okay, 91, Nineteen ninety one. Wait a There we are, I'm sorry. Truck 91, Unit 10 Opener. The city of Yangzhou is famous in history as a city of learning and culture. Some of China's most famous artists and writers came from here. Now the city also has the most modern bookshop in the world. When you enter, you feel like you are in a river of books. They are all... So, uh, Yang, Yang Yao, yes, it's famous because it has the most, the most modern bookshops, yes? So when you enter these bookshops, it seems um, you feel like you are in the in a river of, of books yes so it's very very interesting yes um uh, this place this city is famous for uh its culture because it has famous writers yes famous painters yes on the walls Artists. and above you and below you so you have books above you and below you yes plenty of books as you walk towards the center, there are separate rooms with books on every subject, from geography to history, maths to chemistry, biology to children's literature. That's great. That's great. I, I really would like to go there. I would like to go there because it, it must be amazing. Books everywhere literature for children yes so everything you want 
I think you have there, yes? If you go there, you will have everything you want, yeah? Uh, books from geography, biology, uh, maths, yes? Geography, um, every subject, okay? So, uh, number one, famous in history as a city of learning and culture, yes? Famous artists and writers came from here. Number two, books on every subject. I have already said that. Yes, okay? Good. So, um, blah, 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 blah. Let's go there. I have a projection. So you have many subjects there, yes, okay, you have maths, history, yes, okay, this is, which one is it? Okay, you have uh, math, history, yes, chemistry, literature, IT. So which one is your favorite? Yes, okay. And why do you like it? Yes, I like literature. Yes, because I like reading. I like writing too. Yes, okay. Uh, for me, uh, maths, it's not that I don't like, but it's a bit difficult. It's more, for me, it's more difficult than, ma than literature. Yes, and... Um, I also like history. I think history is more interesting than um, uh, chemistry for me, yes? And if I have to tell you which one I prefer, I prefer literature, yes? Because I think it's very interesting. Uh, it's easy for me, yes? I like reading and I also like writing, yes? So I want you to look at the pictures and say which one you like the most and which why which one you don't like and why yes and which is the most interesting for you i think all the subjects um are interesting yes because they help yes maths is very interesting and very uh useful yes in real life when you go to buy something when you go to uh, the supermarket, yes? And geography is also very useful because you need to know where you are, where you live, yes? History too, yes? To know about the cultures, yes, okay? To know about how people lived in the past, yes, okay? Chemistry is also very uh, interesting because you need to know how different components react Yes, okay, so uh, how all the things uh, in life, yes, what components they have, how they react together, how they are formed, yes, so I think every subject is useful for future, for your future, for your future life, yes, okay, good, well, so, um, that was all, so you have to match um, uh, the subjects, yes, with the topics, okay? So we have 1C, 2A, 3H, 4B, 5D, 6G, 7E, 8F, okay? Is it clear? Good, so let's go to page 118, 18. yes, okay? 118. What have you learned? 
Yes, what have you learned? So I will show you another picture. Yes, and the thing is, what have we learned? Yes, so you have to look at the pictures and what do you think is happening in each picture? Yes, okay, good. So pay attention now. Yes, okay, it says, what have scientists learned? Yes, okay. And I want you to pay attention, focus in the verb. Yes, what have scientists learned? They have built, they have built robots. They have, they have sent people to space. They have discovered medicine. They have invented electronic cards. Yes, they haven't named all words animal species. See, on this other side, yes, on this other side, yes, we are going to say what scientists haven't learned. Yes, so they haven't learned, they haven't named all words animal species. Yes, they haven't found a cure for COVID-19. Yes. Okay, they haven't collected Earth core, blah, blah, blah. They haven't identified all the uh, carcinogens. Yes, okay, is it clear? Well, so these are the things they have done and the things they haven't done. Scientists, things that ha scientists have done and things that... Um, Scientists have learned things they have learned and things they haven't learned. learned. Yes, okay. Well, so pay attention now. ¿Qué notamos acá? En esto que yo te fui haciendo un círculo y lo que te fui marcando. Notamos un sujeto, un have y un verbo en pasado participio. Have, atención aquí, tema nuevo. Have, verbo en pasado participio. Have, verbo, verbo en pasado participio. And the thing is, yes, okay. Pay attention. You are going to bring a paper. You are going to divide the paper in three. Okay, divide the paper in three. Y que vamos a poner como título, yes, as a title, present perfect, present perfect. Atención, tema nuevo, present perfect, yes, this is present perfect, yes, and the thing is like this. This is your paper. It's divided in three. Oops. It's divided in three. The thing is, they are all mixed again. Yes, okay. And present perfect. Okay. So, how do you form present perfect? Subject plus have or has plus yes have or has plus the third column que sería el pasado participio yes past participle yes ok so I will give you an example ¿por qué decimos have or has? nosotros ya sabemos que para he, she and it Vamos a usar has. Y para I, we, you, they, vamos a usar have. ¿Es clear? Prepara ese papel dividido en tres, en tres, eh, en tres partes. Yes, yeah, so divide the paper in three. Divide the paper in three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Write down. Right now, okay. So, you are going 
going to write a sentence. I have studied. Y vamos a ponerle for. ¿Qué quiere decir for? El adverbio for. For. For three hours. I have studied for three hours. So it could be the affirmative, here the negative, and here the interrogative. Y vamos a hacer en el interrogative, que sería esta parte, vamos a dividir otra vez en dos. Con una rayita. Así que te queden dos. Yes? Okay? So, the negative, yes? I haven't, I haven't studied for three hours. Yo he estudiado, yo he caminado. Entonces ahí estamos armando el present perfect. Yes, okay. Question, have you, have you studied for three hours? Possible answers, yes, I have, o no, I haven't, no, I haven't. Entonces, ¿qué es súper importante que aquí tengamos detectado? Lo que vamos a marcar en el libro, ¿sí? El que no lo tiene marcado lo va a marcar, van a ser todos los verbos, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. De 10 en 10, yo te voy a ir diciendo, te voy a ir mostrando en la cámara y vas a, a revisar, porque vamos a tomar cada día, ¿sí? La lista de verbos. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí, aquí viene la parte donde vas a usar la tercera columna, ¿sí? Nosotros sabemos, por ejemplo, en infinitivo, do, el pasado, did, y el, la tercera columna sería done, ¿bien? ¿sí? Vos tenés tu lista, hacer, do, did, Done. Yes, ok. Uh, tenemos drink, por ejemplo. Drink, drank, el pasado. Drank, drank. Y la tercera columna con U. Drank, drank. Yes, is it clear? Entonces, lo que vamos a usar aquí en este tiempo verbal va a ser esto. Por eso te pongo tercera. Vamos a formar con el sujeto. Cap o has más la tercera columna que es el pasado participio. ¿Yes? El pasado participio, la tercera columna de verbos. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Pero, eso estamos hablando de que dice an irregular verb. Si es un verbo regular, esto sería un verbo irregular. Y si es un verbo regular, ya sabemos que a los verbos regulares se le agrega ed. Por ejemplo, I have studied. ¿Yes? Entonces acá estamos usando... Sí, armando ese tiempo. Vamos a poner my dad. Hacemos una con my dad. Rayita ahí. Yes. Good. My dad, my dad has uh, drunk, perdón, has uh, traveled, ah, no, que tenemos travel ya. Yes, ok. Has uh, been, tenemos was, where, been, has been in Miami since, ¿qué significa since? Atención, otro adverbio del present perfect, desde, since 1997. Yes, ok, negativa, my dad hasn't. Been in Miami since 1999. Hasn't been. Question, has your dad been in Miami since 1997? Yes, he has. ¿Ok? No, he or she hasn't. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? ¿Right? Yes. So this is, después con they, también lo mismo. Yes. Vos lo que tenés que tener en claro es cuando usamos he, she, has. Que ya lo sabéis desde siempre. 
we, you, they, I, ha, ¿ok? Y, la y esto, viste que la interrogativa vamos a dividir en dos, nos va a quedar para preguntas con have you ever, y quiero saber esto, vos contestame yes I have o no I have in, in your case, at home. Have you ever, have you ever traveled, yes, by bus? Yes, I have. Have you ever, and we're going to write sentence, question with have you ever. ¿Qué significa have you ever alguna vez? Si alguna vez has hecho algo. Have you ever gone to Europe? Have you ever, have you ever uh, loved someone? Si has amado a alguien alguna vez. Me salgo del espacio porque mi cuadro es a, a muestra. Vos no porque tenés más espacio. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever uh, visited? Voy a usar otro, ¿eh? Have you ever drunk? Have you ever drunk? ¿Te das cuenta? Las terceras columnas, por favor. Gone. Yes. Laughed. Yes. Drunk. Uh, whiskey. Of course, no. Possible answer, yes, I have, no, I haven't. Entonces, es muy, muy importante que vos estés haciendo cuando, lo mismo que hacemos cuando introducimos un tema nuevo, divide the paper in three, en el último, en el último, en el último que teníamos, pasamos, dividimos otra vez en dos, ¿por qué? Porque vamos a hacer la question which have you ever, ¿is it clear? Muy importante que hagas este cuadro porque si no, no vas a fijar, no te va a quedar esto claro. ¿Está? Entonces, hasta aquí presentamos el present perfect, affirmative, negative, interrogative, and question with have you ever. Has your mother ever, has your mother ever gone to a concert, to a rock concert? No, she hasn't. Have you ever, have you ever sent a love letter? A love email? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Has your father ever, has he ever uh, cooked, cooked a cake? Yes, he has. Is it clear? No, he hasn't. Ok? Entonces, a través tenemos esto, tenemos la presentación de for, que es uno de los adverbios, por tanto tiempo. I have studied, I have corrected for three hours, I have recorded since 8 a.m., ¿Está claro? Entonces, por tanto tiempo, desde. ¿Ok? ¿Es claro? And now, pay attention because we have more, yes, abajito, en la parte de abajo, yes, o si no atrás, vamos a presentar los otros adverbios, ¿sí? Ya presentamos for, que está en ejemplo arriba, presentamos since, no signs, since, for and since, ¿ok? We have yet, Yes, I haven't done my homework yet. Entonces sabemos que yet usamos en oraciones negativas e interrogativas. ¿Ok? ¿Es claro? ¿Sí? Yes? Ok. Bueno, well, uh, en el libro, en el libro no están todos, ¿sí? ¿Yes? No están todos los adverbios. Cuando nosotros presentamos, van a estar force and this, maybe, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Vamos a presentar todos los adverbios, ¿ok? Already, ya, I have already finished. Yo ya he terminado y el already va después del have. ¿Es clear? I have already finished my homework. Yes, so we have for, since, yet, yes, already and just. I have just opened this. Present. 
Yo ya he hecho tal cosa, ya he abierto. I have just. Ojo, ojo, donde tenemos cada cosa. Yes, ok. We have four sins. Yes. Four. Yes. Four. And uh, we have sins. Sins. Yes. Ok, I have done my, I haven't done my homework yet. Have you studied yet? Al final, al final, después del have, yes, después del have. I have just, yes, just do it. Ok, entonces tenemos adverbios, todos estos adverbios del presente perfecto. Un error, un ejemplo con cada uno aquí, en el cuadrito que estamos, divide the paper easily, the present perfect. Is it clear? Good. Uh, four things yet already just. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Esta sería la explicación de present perfect. Entonces tenemos subject, have o has, plus the past participle. What is the past participle? La tercera columna de los verbos. Y ahora, antes de que pase otra cosa, vamos a ir a la parte de atrás del book. Si no estudian los verbos, no van a poder avanzar. ¿Es clear? Yes. Ok. Vamos a la parte de atrás del, del libro. Sería la página 182. 182. Yes. Vamos a poner desde B hasta D. One. Desde drink hasta go va a ser el número two. Desde grow hasta make. Desde grow hasta make va a ser tres. Desde meet. Desde meet, yes, hasta sit, va a ser el 4, 4, y desde sleep hasta write, va a ser el 5. ¿Está claro? Bueno, atención. Are you ready? Good. Tenemos be, ser o estar, become, convertirse en. Begin, conversar, bring, traer, build, construir, buy, comprar, choose, elegir, come, venir, cost, costar, do, hacer, drink, beber, eat, comer, fall, caer, feel, sentir, find, encontrar, fly, volar, forget, olvidar, Get, obtener, give, dar, go, ir, grow, crecer, have, um, tener, hear, oír, hurt, herir, keep, mantener, know, conocer o saber, leave, partir, irse de un lugar, learn, aprender, let, permitir, make, fabricar, meet, encontrarse con alguien, pay, pagar, Put, poner, read, leer, run, correr, say, decir, see, ver, sell, vender, send, enviar, sit, sentarse, sleep, dormir, speak, hablar, spend, gastar, swim, nadar, take, tomar, teach, enseñar, tell, decir, think, pensar, understand, entender, wake, despertarse, levantarse, perdón. We, we are, vestir, and write, ver, eh, perdón, write, escribir, yes, entonces, para la clase que viene, yes, para la clase que viene, van a estudiar solamente la parte 1, desde be hasta do, las tres columnas quiere decir que tengo que saber, do, 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 ok, ¿cómo se dice construir? Build, 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 ¿por qué? Porque si no sabes las columnas de los verbos, cuando quieras decir yo construí algo en el pasado, vas a querer poner builder y no es builder el pasado, es built. ¿Yes? 
Cuando quieres usar la tercera columna de, eh, ok, de give, give, gave, given, ok, si quieres decir, ella ha enviado, me ha dado, she has given to me a paper, yes, entonces no vas a poder usar, vas a poder querer poner given y no va a ser así si no te sabes las columnas, o sea, el pasado, el presente perfecto no es difícil, pero hay que saberse la tercera columna, o si no vas a hacer psh, psh, agua, yes, entonces, eh, para la clase que viene, la, a, eh, la parte 1, ¿ok? ¿Es clear? So let's go to the book now, pages 118 and 119. But first of all, first of all, pay attention and I want you to um, read synonyms, yes, sinónimos y antónimos, ¿ok? Good. Sorry, I will clean this. Okay, can you see Frandreo? Yes, of course. Okay, well, so you have uh, synonyms are the same meaning. For example, telephone and call. Yes, can you telephone me? Can you call me? Yes, learn. Yes, and remember, study and memorize. Yes, okay. Email, email me soon. Send me the letter soon. Break down. Stop working. Yes, okay. Then we have uh, different meanings. Yes, okay. Los antónimos, ya lo saben. Okay, remember. Yes, el opuesto. And forget. Send. Receive. Leave. Yes, a message, take a message. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good, so these are synonyms and antonyms, okay? And you have there in your folder, okay? So you have learn and teach, yes, you have learn and teach, yes, okay? Pass, fail, study, practice, en la página 119, pero en donde vamos a encontrar más también va a ser en el activity book, yes, en el minutes, en la página 83, sí, call, find, memorize, yes, search, send, show, stop working, yes, ok, learn and remember, yes, ok, look at this list of words, how many can you learn, can you remember, Yes, is it clear? Entonces vas a tener, vas a encontrar en la página 83 ejemplos, vas a encontrar esto que te pone la teacher acá para que no te pierdas, para que no diga no entendí nada, está todo acá proyectado, todo lo que presento nuevo está proyectado y explicado. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? The question will have you ever to... Um, wait a minute. Recién, recién... Uh, en la página, en la página, wait a minute, ciento veintiuno, vamos a tener el contraste con pasado y eh, past present perfect, ok? Los adverbios, los adverbios de present perfect, los seguimos dando en tercero, en cuarto, pero yo te los presenté a todos. For, I have studied for three hours. I have corrected since eight o'clock. Have you studied yet? I haven't corrected yet. Yes? Is it clear? Entonces, yet para interrogative, interrogative and negative. Yes? For and since, yes, yet, already, 
I have already finished. Ya he terminado. Yes. And then you have just. Como el de just do it. I have just finished my homework. Yo ya he terminado. Ok. Entonces teníamos for, for, since, yet, just, already. Yes. Ok. Is it clear? Right. So pay attention now. I want you to go. Yes. To page. Yes, from the book. Wait a minute. And then we're going, I'm going to finish with the things you remember, easy to remember. Yes. Okay, but now we're going to go to the exercises. Es importantísimo que le saques máximo provecho a los ejercicios que van de tarea, del activity book y a los ejercicios que hacemos en clase. Yes, is it clear? So, I'm on page 118, 119. Are you ready? Good. So, you are going to look at the three pictures. And what do you think is happening in each photo? Photo A, photo B, and photo C. Okay? So, in A, I think it is the uh, space station. Yes? Uh, it's going uh, around the earth. Yes? In B, an invisible car. Yes, okay. So I think uh, scientists haven't um, worked, yes, haven't finished uh, on the uh, invisible card, car, yes. And in C is uh, teleporting, yes. I am very interested in this topic in C, yes. Because I think it could be very, 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 um, very um, interesting, yes, to uh, uh, go, yes, to appear in some other period of history, for example, to know or to learn, yes, how people uh, lived in the past, for example. So, what have we learned? And what is still to learn? You are going to read, yes, uh, the reading. In recent centuries, scientists have learned a lot. They have learned, y tenemos todo el uso, lo que quiero es que subrayes todo lo present perfect que, encuentre, que encuentres aquí. Yes, scientists have learned, they have learned how to send people into space, into space, and they have discovered, la forma contractive, New medicine, more recently, they have invented, otro ejemplo, the internet, and they have designed, they have designed, yes, what have you done? Yes, I have studied, I have designed a robot for uh, technology, I have finished my homework of maths, I have studied English, I have um, walked for two hours. Okay, is it clear? So the things they have done, yes, okay. Uh, they have designed robots to do routine jobs. However, there are still some things, uh, there are still some things which scientists haven't been able to do, yes. These are the things I projected, the things scientists have done and the things scientists haven't done, yes, haven't learned, yes, okay. And in this case, um, they haven't been able to. For example, some scientists have tried to make objects invisible. Yes, they have tried, but I think they have to continue, yes, okay? Because uh, that would be very, very interesting, yes, for uh, the, the CIA, for example, CIA, yes, okay? Some scientists for um, Inspector Holmes, yes, okay? Some scientists have tried to make objects invisible, but it hasn't worked very well. The car in the photograph has cameras on the side, on one side, and it shows the images, the images on the other side. Yes, but as you can see, the wheels aren't invisible. Yes, so they could make it invisible, but not the wheels. So they have to continue working on that project. Yes. 
Other scientists are trying to solve the problem of, tra of transport on busy roads. Yes, so to avoid traffic jam, yes, they have made, uh, uh, made self-driving cars, but so far they haven't been able to move a human from one place to another. Yes, that was tele, um, what's that? Teleporting, yes. It, it, they haven't been able, yes, to move one person to another place, yes, okay. Uh, move a human from one place to another without transport. So we need, we continue uh, using transport. That this is called teleporting and scientists don't understand this difficult area of science yet. Y ahí tenés yet, ¿sí? Que es eh, uno de los adverbios que estuve presentando hoy, aún, ¿yes? ¿En qué? Tenemos en una oración, ¿yes? Negative. They haven't discovered yet. They haven't discovered it yet, okay? So you're going to do exercises three, yes, and four. Exercise three, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Put a tick or a cross. One tick, two cross, three tick, four tick, five cross, six tick. Six tick. Exercise five, okay? Exercise four first, okay? Discuss the questions and give a reason. In the future, pay attention. Do you think we are going to use robot for housework? Yes, I think yes. Because in some houses, uh, there are robots uh, that are preparing for doing the housework. Yes, okay? To assist a human. Make an object invisible? I think yes, they... The, uh, the scientists uh, will be able to um, make things invisible, but not yet. Yes, not in the near future. Yes, okay. Uh, use self-driving cars? Yes, I think yes. We are going to use self-driving cars. What is a self-driving car? It's a car that you don't need to drive. It can drive itself. Yes, so... We are going to say, okay, let's go to, I don't know, I, Im I am imagining, yes, so I imagine you have to um, program it, yes, okay, let's go to the city center, so you will sit there, yes, do your job, and your agenda, or some kind of, some routine book you have, but uh, the, the car could drive itself, yes, okay, that would be amazing, yeah, because one of the things that will get better will be the problem of uh, stress, yeah? Because sometimes, and most of the time, in big cities, yes, people get stress when they drive. When they drive. Because uh, there, are, there, there, are, there is a lot of traffic, traffic jumps there. Yeah? Of course, uh, they will continue being traffic jumps, yeah, but you won't be driving, yes? You will be in the back part of the, in the back part in the back part of the car, yes, and it would be amazing, yes, okay. Uh, teleport, teleport human. That would be amazing, yes, because you from here you can be in another place without using any kind of transport. But be careful. There is a, a film that is about this topic, tele, teleporting, yes. And it's very interesting, but be careful because what about thieves? Yes, what about bad people with bad intentions? Yes, so it could be a bit um, difficult. Yes, is it clear? Well, so I want you to go to exercise um, from page 119 and you will do exercise five. Highlight the charts, all charts must be highlighted. All charts must be highlighted. The one in synonymos and antonymos, the one in presente perfecto. Is it clear? They must be highlighted. Yes, highlighted. Is it clear? So let's go. So we have to do exercises five, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, eight, and nine.
okay? Five, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to talk in exercise 10, questions, we're going to make questions at home, vas a hacer vos también, we'll have you ever. So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, yes, okay? I will go to the answers, okay? So we have exercise five, do the activities, please. Teach, yes, okay? Pass, number two, study, remember, five, understand, six, invented. Exercise seven, exercise seven, has, two, has, three, have, because it says people, four, haven't, five, hasn't, and six, have. ¿Para qué sirve este ejercicio? Para que recuerdes that with he, she, it, we use has, have, has, sorry, and I, we, you, and they, have. Is it clear? Exercise eight. Have passed, two, has studied, three, have gone, four, haven't understand, understood, six, five, has designed, six, hasn't done, seven, have forgotten, eight, haven't seen, yes, no te olvides si es un verbo regular, le agregas ed, si es un verbo irregular, la tercera columna que sería el past participle, is it clear? Good, exercise nine, yes, okay, are you there? Have, have you done your homework? No, I haven't, number three, Has Peter finished his, finished his exams? Yes, he has finished. Number five. Have you ever studied? This is otro adverbio. Have you ever? Yes, I have never gone to Miami. Have you ever gone to Miami? No, I, I've never studied. Y podemos usar el never también como el have you ever. I never. Nunca he estado, nunca he trabajado, ¿ok? Con los verbos que tenemos en el ejercicio 10, be, fail, test, invent, something, bla, bla, bla. We are going to make questions and you are going to write at least three questions and you have to answer, okay? Ready, steady, go. Have you ever failed a test? Yes, I have. Have you ever invented something? Yes, I have. Have you ever met a famous person? I have seen a famous person, but I haven't met a famous person, not that I remember now. Have you ever walked in another country? Yes. Have you ever been on TV? Have you ever been on TV? No, I haven't. Yes, is it clear? All right. 120, 121. Yes, okay. Good. From 120... You are going to, number one, it says, which things on this list are easy to? Atención aquí porque voy a proyectar esto. Y me vas a decir desde casa, muy lindo los cuadros que armamos con las teacher, acá con la teacher, Nicole. Entonces, which things are easy to remember and which things from the things we, uh, you have in the bubbles are easy to forget? Yes, is it clear? Right. And there you have, okay, which things are easy to remember and which things are easy to forget. Are we there? Okay, so, uh, for you, because this is your opinion, so which things are easy to remember and which things are easy to forget? Na people's names and faces? Okay, direction and addresses, telephone numbers, uh, dates and facts in history, food on shopping lists, the words of a song. Well, um, for me, uh, it is difficult to um, uh, remember people's names sometimes, but for me, it's easy to uh, remember 
um, the words of a song. Uh, it's difficult to remember uh, dates in history. Yes, dates. I remember history. Yeah, but I. It's difficult for me to um, remember the dates. Uh, it's difficult for me to uh, remember now, now, telephone, yes? Because you, I already know now uh, three numbers. My mom's number, but from the telephone, from the house. Um, my number, my telephone number, and my uncle's uh, number, telephone number. That's the three uh, numbers. Yes, telephone numbers I remember. But in the past, we used to remember a lot of numbers because we didn't have the cell phone. And now that we are, we have the cell phone. We put, we put everything in there in a kind of agenda. Yes. So uh, I think it is a, a disadvantage, a disadvantage to have these cell phones. Yes, because uh, you forget. Yes. Uh, about the numbers, the telephone numbers, and for me, uh, it could be um, a good memory work, yes, memory exercise to try to remember names, uh, telephone numbers, dates, yes. Okay, do you remember? Is it difficult for you to remember the uh, birthday parties, uh, the birthdays? Yes or no? Birthdays, no birthday parties, birthdays, yes, okay. I know all the birthdays from the people from my family, yes? And sometimes I forget my friends, yes? Okay, well, so uh, that was exercise one. So you are going to do now exercise um, four that it says, how much information have you remember? How much informa information have other students remember? Well, we have to do, uh, the thing is that we have to do exercises two, three and four together in, cl in the class. So, we are going to go directly to exercises, exercises, um, five, look at the photo, and the headline says, Nelson has won the USA Memory Championship for the fourth time, oh my God, who is the, the man in the photo? So, I want you to tell me who is the man in the photo, yes, okay, is it clear? Good. That is Nelson, and um, he has won the fourth, uh, the championship, the USA Championship of Memory. Yes, okay, Memory Championship, and he has done it for the fourth time. Yes, so we are going to listen to a, a news report about him, and you have to number these topics in the order the reporter mentions it, mentioned them. A, B, or C, you have to pick the number. Which one appears first? Is it clear? Right. Right, right, right. Let's go to the listening. Track 94, Unit 10B. So, you are going to do exercise 6, that is put the number, and then you are going to answer the question with the same listening. And then we are going to go to exercise 9. Yes, and we are going to do exercise 10 orally, and that will be all for today. Is it clear? Right. Do you always forget names and faces? And how many numbers? So I remember I have taught English since uh, 1998 up to now. And I remember faces uh, very easily. But the thing is that I don't remember the names easily. Yes, so I can remember if I see them, I can remember all the faces of my students, uh, the, the students. I have worked with, yes, because it, it has been many years, since 1988 until 2020, and I, it's easy for me to remember the faces, 
but not all the names, yes? Just telephone numbers can you remember? Not many? Well, meet Nelson Dellis. Nelson can listen to the names of 99 people, look at their faces, and memorize every one of them. Okay. Oh my God. So that's why he has won the USA Memory Championship for the fourth time. So he can uh, memorize 99 names and faces, recognize faces. Oh, that's great. He can also hear 300 different numbers. And 300 different numbers. That's amazing. And then repeat them. Because of his special memory, Nelson has won the USA Memory Championship four times. He won the competition in 2011, 2012, 2014, and again in 2015. The USA Memory Championships are like the Olympic Games, but the athletes train their brains and they take different memory tests. Right. So how does Nelson do it? He says he doesn't have a special memory. Like normal people, he's often forgotten names, dates and numbers. But a few years ago, he studied memory techniques and he practiced for hours and hours and hours. That's interesting. So he has studied he have studied memory techniques, yes, and practice and practice and practice and practice for hours. So that's the key. If you want to be good in something, you need to practice, practice and practice and practice. It's the same with maths, exercises of maths. It's the same with exercises of English. If you practice, 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 yes, you will be great every day. Since then, he's won many competitions and he's taught his techniques to people all over the USA. That's great. I would like to go to, uh, I don't know, a kind of um, seminar where he, where, where, where he can teach me uh, his techniques for memorizing things. That would be great. Maybe you can Google the, them. Yes, Google him and there would be something about his techniques, okay? Well, so uh, exercise 6, um, 1B, 2A, 3C. Exercise 7, 19, remember to stop the video, listen again and answer the questions. 300, 20 and 11, 2012, 2014, 2015, 2011. The Olympic Games, number five, memory techniques, yes. Wait a minute. Uh, for hours and hours and hours every day, seven people all over the USA. Exercise nine, yes, you have to do exercise nine. Okay, present perfect, have a has plus the third column, third column, that is the past participle. Has failed? Failed. Has studied? Studied. Has made? Made. Ok? Atención cuando es un presente per perfect y cuando es un pasado. Pasado, algo en el pasado que está terminado. Y present perfect puede comenzar en el pasado pero seguir hasta ahora. ¿Por qué te digo puede comenzar en el pasado? Porque si yo digo I have corrected, yo he corregido. Puede ser que mi trabajo todavía no se terminó porque comencé a las 8 y sigo todavía. Is it clear? All right. Has made, made. Called, have called. So, have seen. Is it clear? And the last exercise, an exercise in exercise 11, I want you to pay attention and make questions with have you ever. Have you ever taken an English exam? Yes, I have. Where was it? Atención. No puedo poner where has it been. Where was it? So we have question in present perfect with have you ever. And one question in past. Number two. Have you studied science? Yes, I have. Where have you studied? I have studied science at university. Three. Have you taught? Taught? 
No teacher, ni nada, eh? Taught, yes, uh, a subject, yes, I have. What subject have you taught? I have taught uh, English, literature, um, and, uh, bueno, taller de biblioteca, yes, okay. Have you learned a musical instrument? No, I haven't. Well, if you say yes, yes, I have. What instrument have you learned? I have learned uh, the guitar, for example. Yes, okay. Homework pages from the activity books and study verse one. Yes, parte de atrás del libro, uno lo estuvimos dividiendo y te estuve dictando todos los meanings, okay? Mua, mua. Bye, bye. See you next class. Bye, bye.